taking you in this moment what is up you guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel my name is tony brian and in today's video we will be discussing the fall of 3lw believe it or not guys i already filmed this video and then i accidentally deleted it if you guys frequently check my youtube community i put polls up here and there and i asked you guys if you guys wanted me to refilm the video on air well on camera should i say and a huge chunk of you guys either a thousand or almost a thousand people said that they wanted me to refilm the video so here i am refilming it i'm really excited to do this video honestly i feel I could have put more into it so I think everything happens for a reason so I'm excited to tell their story yet again but of course before we get into this video I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video Surfshark. Surfshark is probably one of the best VPN companies out there right now. If you guys are unaware what a VPN is a VPN is a software that protects your digital footprint and protects you from cyber criminals. Surfshark does just this along with allowing you to keep your VPN in the current area you're staying in. Why does this matter? Say you're on vacation and you want to see your favorite TV show or movie, but it's not available in that country. You can virtually travel around the globe so you can still watch whatever you want to watch even if you're on a vacation. And to circle back to protecting your digital footprint, Surfshark will block you from ads, trackers, malware, and phishing attempts, allowing you to surf the web safely. If you use my code TONY, you'll get 83% off along with three months free of Surfshark. And say you don't like Surfshark, which is very unlikely, there is a 30-day money-back guarantee option available. Thank you, Surfshark. Sharks so much for sponsoring this segment of the video and for more details it will be linked down below in my description box and without further ado let's get straight into today's video three two one I'm Adrian. I'm Keely. And I'm Naturi. And we're 3LW. 3LW was an American girl group founded back in 1999 with members being Adrian Bylon, Keely Williams, and Tori Naughton. The group had hit songs in the early 2000s such as No More, Play Is Gone Play, and sold over 1 million records. Though the group had a pretty good run, they also had a very ugly breakup and in today's video we'll be breaking down the breakup of 3LW and the fall of 3LW. So now we can't get into the fall until we start with the origin of the group. In 1999 sisters Michelle Williams and Tease Williams wanted to start an all-girls group. They wanted to name the group Three Little Women but abbreviated as 3LW. So in order to make this dream come true they began some auditions and gathered women around to see who would be the perfect fit for this group. Since the group was called Three Little Women it was obvious that they wanted three Members, and after doing their search, they inevitably found the three girls that they wanted. Those girls were Adrian Bylon, Notori Naughton, and Keely Williams. Michelle and Tees Williams were Keely's sisters biologically, but Michelle Williams took guardianship of Keely. Well, our manager Michelle Williams, who's also Keely's mom, held an audition for a group that she knew wanted to be called Three Little Women, and from there she handpicked us all. And we did our demos, got together, she saw how well we got along, did our demos, and in four months we had our deal with Sony Epic. So during this search, they just so happened to select the sister-daughter. Sounds a little bit suspicious? Yeah. <laughs> after the group was formed, they quickly signed with the label Epic Records. And soon after that, they released their debut song, No More. That song placed number 23 on the Billboard charts, and two months later, their self-titled debut album, 3LW, was released and they sold over 1.3 million copies. So following the release of this album, they then released their song Play Is Gone Play. And then soon after that, they went on tour with MTV Total Request Live along with Destiny's Child, Dream, Nelly, Eve, and Jessica Simpson. So the girls were clearly on a high. They were thriving, doing well, traveling with mega groups. So they decided to take a little bit of a break. After taking some time off, the group made a comeback in the summer of 2002 and they released their song I Do Want to Get Close to You which was produced by the epic producer P. Diddy. And then that same summer they appeared on the Nickelodeon concert special titled Live on Sunset. Now during this time it seemed as if the girls were doing so well they were traveling once again with major groups. They had a song produced by P. Diddy. They were all over magazines doing live interviews. But there seemed to be trouble in paradise because rumors started swirling that Notori Naughton was leaving the group. And clearly those rumors came true because in summer of 2002, just before the group was about to release their second studio album, A Girl Can Mac, Notori Noin inevitably quit the group. So we'll get into the story behind her quitting the group just a little bit later, but let's finish off with how the group proceeded without Notori. After Notori left, Adrian and Keely continued the group, 
but they didn't change the name. They inevitably still went by 3LW, though there was only two girls. And in media, there were lots of jokes made about them, with people calling them 2LW instead of 3LW, since there were just now two women instead of three. Notori leaving really affected the group and their reputation. There were rumors swirling as to why Notori left once again, and the girls did admit that they were getting a lot of death threats due to Notori leaving. So let's get back to their studio album that was gonna be released, but then Notori left. So it can be presumed due to Notori leaving and all the drama that came with her leaving that they decided to push their album release date back. They pushed it back about a month and then they finally released it. So just before they released this album, they did release a few singles, but the singles did not do well. Well, at least not as well as they expected. Their first and second singles released off the album really underperformed, so they decided to come out with a Christmas LP and that didn't do that well either. But if you're someone that's into numbers, when they finally did release the album, it did debut at number 15 in the Billboard Top 200s, and they sold 53,000 copies in its first week. Right after their album did not do as well as they wanted it to, they then decided to look for a third girl to complete the group. So they began a nationwide search, and then they found their third member. That girl being 15-year-old Jessica Benson, and she made her first appearance with the group in March 2003. A lot of fans noticed that she had a lot of similarities to Notori. Now, I don't think physically they look the same aside from the fact they both were dark skinned, but that comes into play a little bit later when it comes to Notori's departure. Well, at least the rumors that come with Notori's departure. Now, though Jessica joined the group, it didn't really do the group well. Nothing really changed because soon after, Adrian and Keely signed a deal to be a part of the Cheetah Girls on Disney Channel. So this this was the biggest Disney Channel movie of the time that came out in 2003 and they were going to be alongside Raven Simone who was basically the Beyonce of Disney Channel at that time. The Cheetah Girls was incredibly successful and due to the successfulness of that movie Disney decided to turn the girls in the movie into a real life band along with two additional movies. As the Cheetah Girls project grew the girls were on world tours, they had album releases, red carpet events, and grew a major fan base, which led the group 3LW to be put on the back burner, well, at least for Adrian and Keely. I have no idea what Jessica was doing at this time, if she was still continuing to profess her love for music, but she kind of was left abandoned once Adrian and Keely got this huge opportunity for themselves. The progress on 3LW's third studio album called Point of No Return became more so obsolete or not a priority for Adrian and Keely causing them to delay the album's release several times. And this led 3LW to be on a three-year hiatus. Finally, on August 15, 2006, 3LW released their new single, Feeling You. Despite the drop of this song, once again, the album was put on the back burner and the girls, well, Keely and Adrian, continued filming for the Cheetah Girls. On January 7, 2008, Adrian officially announced that 3LW was over. In an interview with Blog Talk, Talk Radio, Adrian stated that the group disbanded in 2007 after the release of that new single, Feeling You. So now y'all, let's get into the drama, let's get into the tea because I know that's why y'all all are here. <laughs> so I honestly feel the fall of 3LW started with Notori leaving the group. Once Notori left, they began getting a lot of negative press. Their new album and singles were not performing as well as they did when Notori was in the group. And then of course, the Cheetah Girls formed. With all the rumors swirling, fans got a little bit of an answer when Notori Noyan decided to go on the Wendy Williams show, well her radio show at the time, to expose what happened while she was in the group. Notori confirmed in that interview basically what all fans were speculating, that there was tension not only among the girls but also with management. Notori claimed that the only reason why she was in the group was to be a representation of the urban girl and she said that she was told by management that she had to act ghetto in order to portray that character correctly. Take a listen to this. Are they mad at you because you come from two parent household and all like that because I did hear that you weren't ghetto enough which is one of the things that uh this is how I think well it all started and even Adrian told me this all started with the whole urban thing and 3LW needed to grab in their urban audience okay and they basically said that 
it was my responsibility to be the ghetto around the way urban chick that all the you know around the way girls can relate to now if what notori is saying is true once again these are all allegations though notori's story has been pretty consistent all these years evidence can definitely be gathered with the fact that they went and replaced notori with another dark-skinned girl. Now, some people might say, oh my God, that's amazing. They show representation. At least there was a dark-skinned girl. But the issue is, if this was in fact true that management wanted Notori to come off as this urban girl and to portray herself as ghetto, it further feeds into the negative stereotypes and colorism that is pointed towards dark-skinned black women. And once again, all those negative stereotypes sound like a bunch of baloney because Notori was very well-spoken and they didn't like that she was well-spoken, allegedly. They wanted her to do a little bit more, sag her pants, just look like a hood girl or a ghetto girl, whatever that character trope was supposed to be. They were telling me you have to always be in Tim's, wear baggy pants, you know, the way you dress, the way you talk, what? has to be that thug urban girl. And I'm saying, hey, I'm me. If people, if the fans like it, why are you complaining? So due to Notori not acting ghetto enough, management, once again, Keely's sisters, they felt like Notori wasn't pulling her weight. So they went behind her back, allegedly, and started looking for her replacement. And according to Notori, that replacement was learning all of Notori's parts in all of the group numbers and all the songs. They were never satisfied with what I brought and they said that I didn't bring my end of what 3LW needed. So they're trying to replace me with this understudy girl who's basically learning all my parts to be me. It, she's a brown skinned girl. Mm -hmm. And um, she is more of like um, the Tims talks rougher than you. Because of this, Notori says that she was literally pushed out of the group against her will, that she never wanted to leave 3LW. She was forced to. So all of this blew up one day when the girls were traveling on, I'm not sure if it was like a tour bus or a limo, cause there was a bunch of them in one car. So regardless of whatever type of vehicle the girls were traveling in, they were on the road and a fight broke out with Keely, not Keely, well, Keely jumped in, okay, with Notori and management. Notori claimed that management was accusing her of spreading information and lies to Wendy Williams, which Wendy Williams on the interview denied that that was even true. She said she got her information from another source. So while they're on the bus, they decide to go stop at KFC for a little bit, right? They get some delicious chicken, right? They're eating the chicken on the bus or the van or the car or the limo, whatever they were in, okay? <laughs> Keely decides to jump into the argument, yelling, cursing, being very volatile, and then throws a plate of chicken at Notori, allegedly. But this whole situation with 3LW, none of this is rumor. I did not leave 3LW. I would never leave 3LW, and I'm here to set the record and straight. And what was on the plate that Keely uh, threw at you, and 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 was it real yeah, hot? This is this is crazy because I didn't even touch her, and then she did it in a very cowardly way. Where like, were you? We were in the in the car in an expedition. Okay. And we had stopped to get KFC. You know, I'm getting my food, sitting in the back back seat of the car, okay. eating my food. Michelle starts yelling at me like, you know. You t explain to the fans that you told Wendy Williams and why is Wendy telling our business and this and that and I said I don't have anything to do with it and she said yes you do How you know you're, this is your fault and you know blah 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 How terrible. so then Keely and Adrian come from KFC with their plates right, in hand right right so oh my god <laughs> That's, that's what oh, happened. oh, yeah. Talk louder, right? Nobody can hear you. It was a discussion with the with the person from the website. Exactly. Because from what I understand, she was requested to explain, uh, explain to our website moderator what's going on in the group. Exactly. And then when she went to explain what was really going on in the group, she got upset. This is this is this a guy named Enso on our website who's okay. the moderator who okay. kind of holds it down, and basically she said, "Hey, you need to tell Chris, his name is Chris, what's going on in the website, and you need to tell him what's really going on with the whatever." I said, "Okay, you want me to tell him the story?" So I grabbed the phone and I said, "All right, well, basically." They're trying to terminate me from the group. Immediately, Michelle snatches the phone and says, No, Natura, you're ridiculous. Why are you telling him that? Is that what you know, you're know you supposed to tell him? I said, I thought you wanted me to tell the truth. But obviously, they're trying to switch it around to protect the 3LW image. Right. So she got upset at me. We're arguing. She's saying, you know what you said. I said, what did I say wrong, Michelle? Okay. 
So it's you, the management, and the limo driver, the, the expedition driver. At the time. Okay, so the other girls come out. They, they got their two-piece. Okay. okay. And Keely actually had a dinner meal, like one of those big dinner plates with mashed potatoes. Yeah, she's 16. She snaps back. Go ahead. <laughs> mashed potatoes. Damn you all for eating Macaroni right and cheese. Oh. And um, chicken, like, you know, the fried chicken. Yes. So it's in the big, you know, dinner plate. And she steps onto the to the car, like the little lever. Yeah, to get, yeah, to get yeah. The car. yeah. And then while we're arguing, me and Michelle, I'm talking to Michelle, and they're like, F you, you know, you calling me all kind of bitches and this, this, and that. And I'm talking, I'm like, yeah, whatever, y'all, trying to ignore them, because that's been going on for at least a week right. while you were on the promo right. tour. Right, right. So right. I say to Michelle, what did I say wrong? And all I know is out of the blue, Keely just is like, F you. And then throws the plate dead in my face, oh, in my eye. My okay. eye was watering. It was yeah, well, you had mashed potatoes and gravy. At mashed potatoes, mashed all over my hair, my face, down my clothes. It was a mess. And right then and there, oh. I was like, I don't have to take this. I don't have to take anybody trying to physically assault me, put m me in harm. So I left. And I said, I don't think if it was Michelle's daughter, which is Keely, she would have had it. Yeah, she would have been like, no, this is ridiculous, trying to fight me. Oh, y'all, that story. Oh, my God. So Notori said that Adrian did not join in the fight of physically assaulting her. But she did say that Adrian was definitely on Keely's side and was defending Keely's behavior. Okay, hold on. Did Adrian jump in and give her your her two piece too? Did, did she give you a two piece? <laughs> no, Adrian never attacked me. All Adrian did was defend her and say that she had every right to hit me. And I said, no, she has no right to hit me or to throw anything in my face. So both Keely and Adrian denied the chicken incident from ever happening. And they went on record on TV saying that it was completely false. Take a look at this. So listen, I want to get right to this because obviously there's a lot going on with you guys and uh, Notori is no longer a part of 3LW. And uh, I just want to run through all the stories that we've been hearing about you guys and I want to, I want to hear your side of everything, all right? Um, one is that Notori uh, stated that while she was arguing with your mom, who's also your manager, um, that, that you threw a hot plate of Kentucky Fried Chicken in her face? We feel silly even defending myself against a two-piece. It, it sounds crazy, crazy to us. Like, it, you know, it really sounds crazy. Well, first of all, she was not arguing with my mom. She was arguing with Adrian. Arguing. Okay. So, you know, I think I think a lot of stories have gotten a little, you know, very mixed up. You know, we were in an argument basically about, you know, the rumors that have been flying around that, you know, Keely, that Natsuri was getting kicked out of the group or that she was leaving or whatever it was. And basically, you know, she it was like she got on the phone with somebody who, you know, is the board moderator and was just like, yeah, they are kicking me out. The two light-skinned girls are kicking me out. And I was like, light-skinned girls? I was like, you, I, you've always called me Adrian. I never knew that was like, you know, like, whoa. And I was, that obviously got me mad and we started arguing there, which wasn't that normal for us, you know. Like any, you know, teenagers, we argue and the food was actually hit. It was a plate of food that was hit by Keely's three-year-old sister. So to turn that back and that it was physical assault, you know, kind of shocked us and it was it's a serious accusation so yeah. i think it's definitely hurt us more than anything right we just you know like to clear up the record yeah, that didn't hurt. happen she was never physically abused she no. was never verbally abused and that was the last time notori saw any of the girls for a very long time and we did not see them publicly together until over a decade later so before we get into this reunion let's talk about where the girls went after 3lw concluded so as i stated previously Two of the girls, Adrian and Keely, went on to be a part of the Cheetah Girls, a very popular and famous group, after 3LW disbanded. Well, during the time 3LW was together and after it disbanded. After 3LW ended, Keely did join the Cheetah Girls, and then after the Cheetah Girls concluded, Keely didn't seem to get into singing or continue her singing career. She actually got involved with acting. She had a few small gigs. She was in the movie The House Bunny. Keely was also on BET show The Encore in 2021. This show was an American American reality TV series, which was produced by Kingdom Rain Entertainment. The show documented nine former R&B girl group members and recording artists as they formed a super group to create an album within 30 days. In 2016, Kelly did get married to a man named Brandon Cox, and she now has two daughters with him. Now, moving on to Adrian. Adrian also went on to film the Cheetah Girls, and while she was filming the Cheetah Girls, she started dating Rob Kardashian, who is infamously the Kardashian sisters' only brother. Her dating Rob Kardashian made her dabble into the reality TV industry just a bit. She was on a few episodes of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, and she even had her own show called The Empire with Julissa Ramirez. That show went on for just about a season, but Adrian also got some featured roles in movies and TV shows. 
Adrian was on the show That's So Raven. She even recently was on the spinoff of That's So Raven called Raven's Home, playing her same character from That's So Raven back in 2022, which is really cool to see. She was in the movie Coach Carter, and I fell in love with the church girl with Ja Rule, just to name a few. Adrian also got into her hosting bag. She hosted E! News, a few specials on E! News. She was the host of the show Nailed It in 2014, and she was a co-host of the hit Emmy Award winning show The Real. She got married in 2016 to gospel singer Israel Houghton, and after struggling several years with infertility, they welcomed a son named Ever James Houghton. I'm literally so happy for Adrian. Like, her story just makes me smile. Moving on to Notori Naughton. Notori Naughton went on to go to college after she decided to leave 3LW. She graduated from Seton Hall University, which is not far from me at all, my hometown at least. Notori didn't really go back to the singing career. She also, right along with the other girls, got into her acting bag, and she had her her role as Lil Kim in the movie Notorious B.I.G. She was a co-star in the movie Lottery Ticket. She starred as Tasha St. Patrick, which is Jane St. Patrick's wife on the hit show on Stars Power. Today, Notori is married to talent manager Xavier Lewis, known as Two, and they share a five-year-old daughter. And I'm not gonna forget about Jessica because everybody forgets about Jessica. Just because Jessica got into 3LW due to kind of a messy situation doesn't mean she shouldn't be regarded at all. There's not a lot of information on Jessica, but allegedly she's currently a realtor in Atlanta. So I hope she is doing well, but that's the only information I have on her. So it seems as if she stepped away from the spotlight after the dismantlement of 3LW. Hey guys, so after filming, I found some more information on Jessica. So according to her Instagram bio, she is a mom of four now, including a set of twins. She also is an entrepreneur. She has her own event decorating business and she is married to a man named Ricardo. And she is in fact living in Atlanta. So I'm unsure if she still is a realtor. But as of 2021, that was the information that was found latest on the internet. So 15 years after all the drama from the group split, Notori was invited as a guest on The Real. And if you guys remember me saying, Adrian was now a co-host of The Real. So as they were interviewing Notori, Adrian went on record to publicly apologize to Notori for everything that she was put through while in the group. So after this interview was released, former manager Tease Williams decided to go on a Twitter rant dragging both Notori and Adrian due to the public apology. In this Twitter rant, she alleged the women of sleeping with married men, being outright liars, and some rumors along the lines as to why the cheetah girls split up. I'm about to read those tweets to you. This woman went on a rampage, literally. She started off with adding Notori Naughton saying this. What exactly did we quote unquote do to at Notori Naughton? What is she apologizing for? And when she's saying, what is she apologizing for? It could be presumed that she's speaking on Adrian apologizing to Notori about everything that Notori went through while in 3LW. Back to the tweet. We put you on and you've spent years talking trash about us. She went on to say, I think you should fight fire with fire, especially when people have been talking smack for years. Two fakes. What lies should I expose first? So let me get this straight. At Adrian Bylone continued to be managed by me for four years after at Notori Naughton left 3LW because she was afraid? Please. And yes, after 13 years of listening to tall tales, especially at Notori Naughton, I'm pissed off. You had a problem with skin color, not us. You know why at the Cheetah Girls ended? Naked pictures of at Adrian Bylone and Disney wasn't having any of that. Should we start talking about sleeping with a married man for years behind everyone's back? And poor at Rob Kardashian never saw it coming. She schemed on him, then chewed him up and spit him out. And I'm not talking about Black China. Kanye, you started it. Scorched earth because n-words don't know when to stop the bs. You should have stopped throwing shade while you were ahead. And that was the end of her egregious twitter rant. Y'all all I'm gonna say is that was completely wild uncalled for especially from a woman significantly older than these girls. I mean the oldest was Notori and she was 18 when she left the group. So you're arguing with girls that you dealt with when they were teenagers. It's astounding just to say as a fact. 
Adrian and Notori never publicly responded to Tees, which I think was the best thing to possibly do. I wouldn't respond to her either. She seems like she's going through something and the girls have a lot more to lose than she did. So I'm glad they didn't. So fast forward two years later, Keely Williams, former 3LW member, decided to take to Instagram on live to come for Notori and say that she is a fraud. She did this after Notori went on TV One's Uncensored to talk about the chicken incident it again. And let me just say, this was after Notori was axed. She didn't willingly share this information. She's just responding to an interview. I mean, that's how interviews work. But Keely took offense to that and she was upset that Notori continuously was spreading lies. Take a look at this Instagram live. Hey y'all, so before we look at Keely's lives, it actually is multiple lives. She did one and then she did another one a few months later. I also want to show what Notori said in the interview she did with TV One. I feel as if she thoroughly explained her experience on 3LW as an adult so I want to show you guys that clip first and then we'll go into Keely's rants on live and Instagram in general. It's hard to pinpoint where things went bad with 3LW like where did we go astray um, but I do know that the adults managers production company there were a lot of adults that were influencing us they wanted to control uh, you know what we were going to become and what kind of music and it was just so much about making us successful that they forgot to let us be successful like we had a platinum selling album what is wrong it became Naturi's voice is too soulful you're not crossover enough Naturi your look is not hot right now nobody's checking for a dark-skinned girl why would we put you in front everything that was working it had reversed I was a girl from Jersey. I'm a brown skin sister who was out here being true to who I was and they wanted to change the image. So the second album was when everything changed. Second album with 3LW, I wasn't allowed to sing lead as much anymore. I was told that my sound was not commercial or sellable or crossover. And I think when people get successful, they literally lose their minds, some people. So unfortunately, the managers of that group became very strategic about what kind of group we were gonna be. Instead of letting the fans choose, like they liked 3LW the way we were. When things started going to the left with 3LW, yes, he told us that they were treating, mistreating her. One of the lowest points <laughs> of being in the group 3LW for me was the day when we officially broke up and I left the road. We had this huge fight, which I'm sure many of my fans that remember, cause I was on 106 in Park talking about, people started talking about, oh, there was a two piece chicken. She threw chicken in her face. It wasn't just about the chicken, but that did really happen. For the record, a lot of people ask me, did y'all really have a fight at KFC? Yes, we did. There was a driver sitting in our Suburban, the manager, who was also one of the girl's mother, sitting in the front. Keely and Adrian are sitting in the middle aisle and I was in the back by myself. I said, I'm not the one who's trying to kick me out the group. Don't be mad that Wendy Williams or that the news is out, cause it's true. And there was some names called, some profanities thrown. She turned around, Keely, and threw the plate of food, mashed potatoes, chicken, whatever else was in there, in my face. And I got out the car and I was just like, I'm going home. I was not given a gift to sing to deal with this excuse my language, but real talk, this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. If you all don't see me, and if you all don't appreciate me, someone else will. They drove off with that driver and left me in the parking lot in Atlanta, Georgia. I told her to take the first flight home and forget about the group because no one is supposed to be treated in that fashion. I got on a plane and came home to New Jersey. And my parents, you know, hugged me and told me, this is not over. And it wasn't. So I'm over here being a mom literally bothering no one. And I hear Naturi Naughton tells all what really happened at KFC. Okay, I let that shit go. It's probably like grabby little splashy soundbite, right? Roll your eyes, move on. But then I hear that not only 
did I pie her in the face with chicken and mashed potatoes? We left her on the side of the road. First of all, no, we didn't. And second of all, why? Why would you need to make up new lies? Were the old ones not working anymore? I just, I don't see the point. I'm not in the entertainment industry anymore. I'm a mom. I'm over here. You are on a hit television show. Why do you need this? Why would I throw chicken? That's wasting right. food. Right. And I was going for her neck. And, and I'm not ashamed talk, of that, people. I no, always, I'm not. You I always call, her stop. that people... You call my mama a bitch, I'm a cum. I'm throwing hands, food, whatever I got. My chunkla. That's right. It, it, uh, what can you, what can you expect? I appreciate her defending me, but also people don't know. Then the she said behind. we left her. She said we left her at the KFC. We mom. did not. We took her to the hotel, and then that was the, the road manager. And that was the best part about it. Because right. remember, she was acting fine and texting and all fine in her car, in the car. And then when she got out, and the rep came to meet us, she was like, oh, oh, oh. like her face was right. burnt. Oh, okay. Here it comes. We're on Instagram Live, Vic. Come here, look, look. And we're oh, about to get in trouble, oh. girl. This was a legit question. What the hell is wrong with yes. you? Yes. Like, At the time, that is our biggest mommy. Is that not our biggest yeah. regret? What? That we did not just come out at oh, the time definitely. and just definitely. freaking say what happened. The but wait, was. listen. We had just got, for the first time ever, our first number one, like, song. Vicky, we were not prepared for this. We were not prepared for an attorney to leave. Like, like why would we kick video. somebody out of a group <laughs> when we get our first number <laughs> okay, one okay, song okay, ever? On, we were excited to be on okay. TRL. We had to go on TRL with the two of us looking stupid. Looking and I remember I didn't know what to say, so I was like, I'm allergic to drama. Right, right. <laughs> I didn't know right. what to say. I didn't know what to do. And, like, at thinking back... Sure, yeah, we should have had know, like a uh, like a publicity no, team. No. Y'all should have did a better job with that. Okay, like look, doing a crisis right, right team right no, to, to let us know in, how to handle the situation. Once again, Notori did not respond to Keely. She was just speaking to herself. Keely, her family members, they all were going on these big Twitter rants, and I'm just glad that the girls, Adrian and Notori took the high road and once again I think it's because they have a lot more to lose than those others do. Karma definitely played a role in the disbandment of 3LW and how everyone's lives turned out. That's all I'm gonna say. Everything that she allegedly did, this is why she's in the position she is today and Adrian and Notori seem to be soaring in their careers. Now Keely did come out recently speaking on 3LW when someone made this tweet. At Jordan Menzeli on Twitter said, let's talk about how at Keely carried 3LW. Keely responded to that tweet with a meme of her saying me thinking about it with laughing faces. Once again, that's not something she could have responded to, but it did allude to the fact that she felt that she was the star of 3LW, though she really wasn't. Like, let's be real. In my personal opinion, Adrian and Notori had much stronger vocals. I think that she did add to the Cheetah Girls. I think she did add to 3LW, but I don't think she was a star of the group. And honestly, I don't think there was a star. I think each of the girls had a very good presence and they represented something differently. But if you wanted to give a star, it probably would have been Notori because that's when all the drama started when Notori left the group. So y'all, that is the fall of 3LW and the end of the video. As always, I want to know what you guys think. Let's get the discussion discussion going on in the comments. Why do you think 3LW ended? Do you guys like Keely Williams? Are y'all team Keely, team Agent, team Notori? What are your thoughts? I want to know everything. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Remember we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers and we are nearly there. I'm so thankful for all the love and support. Y'all are amazing and I'm thankful for everyone that was here before the 100k. So I love y'all so much. So don't forget to like, comment, share this video, subscribe, and yeah, let's get the discussion going in the comments and I will see you all in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. Taking you in this moment. Come get close like your name. Rage your aura. You want more of all this love you'll be your name.